Hey guys, it's your friend Kat here, and today we are gonna do a celebrity makeup transformation of Selena Gomez. If you haven't heard of this American pop sensation, she is still dating, or the ex of Justin Bieber, we never know. I first saw her and loved her on the TV show from Disney called Wizards of Waverly Place, where she starred as a teenage witch, and today I thought I would turn into her. She recently dyed her hair blonde, but I wanted to do a look with her old brunette hair. She has such cute dimples. So let's see if we could turn into Selena Gomez. First of all, I am definitely gonna put a wig cap on because Selena Gomez has so much better, prettier, thick, gorgeous hair that I'm so jealous of. And so I definitely need a wig. Now it is time to put on our makeup primer. I am using the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer, but any primer that suits your skin and face and your price range is definitely great. Now this step is totally optional, but I am definitely correcting my under eye circles and bags in darkness because I am a night owl. I only live at the night, so my eye bags suffer. Blending that out with a beauty sponge. And this step is totally optional as well, but I'm getting a green concealer that is gonna correct all my redness because I have a ton of hormonal acne going on. Not a whole bunch, but quite a few that it's noticeable, so this is gonna correct all of that. You want to cancel out the redness with green. I put even more orange corrector and blended all that out with a damp beauty sponge. You do not want it to look like you just smeared green paint underneath your foundation, so you really want to make sure that's blended out. Before getting some foundation, I'm using the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation. It is my favorite for makeup transformations on any celebrities. If I wanted to look like anything from natural to a full coverage, this is honestly one of my all-time favorite foundations. What I like to do is when I grab the foundation with my beauty sponge, that has the most product on it, so I put that first on my acne spots and any places that I want full coverage on, and then do a more sheared out blend on the rest of my skin and face. I leave the hollowness of my eyes completely bare because we're gonna put some concealer on there later. And do not forget to blend it down your neck and chest so that we are not wearing a face mask of foundation. You can even blend some on your ears as well, really targeting those spots you want full coverage on. Speaking of targeting those spots, I'm getting my favorite concealer, dotting that on the acne spots I have, and blending that out with the beauty sponge. You really wanna make sure these are blended. We do not want it to look like we just slapped on and caked on a ton of makeup because especially with celebrity makeups, they have airbrush quality face of makeup and I'm definitely gonna put this around my eyes, my upper and lower eyelids, and setting that with translucent powder. This is the RCMA No Color Powder, my go-to for setting under eyes, because it doesn't have any flash or kickback, and I'm setting my laugh lines as well, because I crease there. Now, I'm getting an even lighter concealer than my skin tone. This is one of the lightest shades of concealer on spots I really want to highlight my jowls because Selena Gomez has an even more round face on the bottom than I do. My chin goes more out of point than hers does. That's why I'm putting that there. And as you can see, I did it on my nose, the middle of my forehead, and a little bit on the under eyes because I have some sinkage and darkness on my under eyes right at that point. So you really wanna make sure you blend all this out very well because it's such a light concealer. Putting that light concealer also above my eyebrows. If you are a darker skin tone than I am, you could definitely still do this makeup. It doesn't matter. I feel like almost anybody could do celebrity makeup transformations, that's just my opinion, especially if you're a super fan of them. But I'm also getting my banana powder with a brush to put that on my under eyes. Then I'm getting my contour cream and I'm contouring my nose. Selena Gomez has a more different shaped nose than I do. It's definitely shorter, but some of the sides are a lot smaller than mine. And I'm putting a lot of contour on the tip of my nose because like I said, her nose is a lot shorter. So this is gonna give the illusion of a shorter nose. Putting that lighter concealer on my bottom of my eyebrow, on my brow bone, because she has a more heavy eyelid than I do. Blending that out and putting more concealer on my jawline as well. Blending that out, like I said, you really wanna make sure this light concealer is blended completely before moving on to our setting powder to set the rest of our face. Using the same RCMA No Color Powder, 
I like to do powder before blending all of my contour and blush onto my skin because it just blends so much nicer. I am using my Lunatic Cosmetics Lab contour and cheek palette in a warm tone contour using my Morphe brushes for the very first time so I am not fully aware of the whole line and remember all of the numbers of the brushes but I have to say they are amazing. I'm not being paid by Morphe to make this video or anything like that at all. But I decided to test out for this makeup, contouring on the bottom of my chin and the sides top part of my forehead as well. You really want to look at reference pictures of Selena Gomez when you're definitely doing this makeup. I'm sure that's a given. Getting that same contour powder and layering it over that cream contour to make sure it's really blended. Now it is time for the blush. I love these blush colors in this palette. I feel like they're so underrated. They are a great mix of cool and warm tones and they're more matte blushes so they look more natural. And you want that natural like magazine glam look like Selena Gomez always has. Now it's time to get a highlighter. I'm highlighting parts of my face like on my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, forehead, all the parts that kiss the sun. I feel like this highlighter was a little bit too golden for this look, but it still works. And you can't forget your chin and upper lip. Using the same contour powder to contour the bottom of our chin and the sides of our neck, oddly enough. Getting a tiny blending brush and contouring little dimples on the sides of our mouth. I know this sounds so odd, but Selena Gomez is definitely known for her dimples. She has a very youthful face. And now it is time to do them eyebrows. I am just getting my new favorite brow pencil. This is the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Retractable Pencil. It's only $4 and it's my absolute favorite. What I'm doing here is I'm going in with a medium tone brow color to make my eyebrows more straight and thick. Definitely makes my face look more youthful and a lot like Selena Gomez's brows. And I went in with a darker pencil in the same brand to do darker hairs towards the middle of my eyebrows. I know that sounds weird, but trust me, it makes the brows look a little bit more natural if you use multiple colors that are in the same range. I'm also getting some concealer to carve out my brows on the top of them. And I am getting a brown cream paint with a very thin angled brush to do some brow hairs. This will make it look more like real brow hairs. Getting the flat brush with that lightest concealer and carving the bottom of my brow. Now it is time for a lip pencil. I'm getting a more natural, like that pinky mauve lip pencil that's always very popular, the color. And outlining my lips, I'm actually covering my cupid's bow because Selena Gomez has a very small, small cupid's bow compared to mine. And I'm putting some concealer on my bottom lip as well to make my lips look a little bit shorter, especially my bottom lip is so large and in charge compared to Selena Gomez. Now I'm just getting my lipstick, which is a Laura Mercier matte lip lipstick or pencil. It could be definitely sharpened into a pencil. This is so cool. I'll list it down below with the color name. And I'm just putting on some gloss. Now it is time to do a smoky eye with my Sephora Overcast Filter Palette. I have also used this for my Adele makeup transformation. It's my favorite for these type of looks because just like Adele, Selena Gomez is known for a definite smoky eye with a more natural, nudie, glossy lip. I've noticed in a lot of her magazine shoots, music videos. Now this eye look will definitely cause fallout. You could have done the foundation before it, but I didn't do that stamp, so I am getting these shadow shields which make me look very funny, but they work from preventing any fallout onto my beautiful foundation base. Getting an angled brush, doing my own liner with this matte black eyeshadow that is so pigmented. I'm doing a very winged out dramatic eyeliner with it and brushing that on my lower lash line as well, as you can see. And once both sides are even, it is time to go into a matte gray eyeshadow with a pencil brush and smoke that out to my topper eyelid, not all the way to the top, just like a quarter of an inch where your eyelid meets the crease. Getting a pencil brush with that matte black eyeshadow and blending that together just a little bit. Now getting a fluffy blending brush with that gray shadow to do the bottom lower lash line as well. And I even got some of that matte brown eyeshadow in the palette to smoke it out even further. Now it's time to uncover your look, take off those shadow shields, fix any imperfections that may have happened with some banana powder. Time to curl them lashes to prep for some falsies. 
Once those are definitely curled, it's time to put on some mascara. I'm using my favorite waterproof mascara. Any mascara will do that is pitch black so that it will blend to the gods into our false eyelashes that we're gonna slap on our eyeballs. And don't forget them bottom eyelashes as well. You can't forget those. I don't know why, but I always notice if it is not painted on your lower lashes. Now I'm just getting more nose contour. I know this is so extra, but I felt like it needed to be more contoured and some highlight matte powder in the center between my eyebrows. Now the lashes, the B Bella lashes in the style Wonderlust is my new favorite. I had to use it for this video. They're so extra and fluttery. They're like one of my all time favorite all glam lashes. They almost touch my eyebrows when I blink. I used it with some House of Lashes white adhesive. I'm getting some lighter foundation to put on my neck so that it blends more with my face so it doesn't look like two different shades. Now it's time for that wig. I got this wig from everydaywigs.com. Laying down some wig glue. I used the got to be glue on my hairline, making sure it's not going on my actual hair. And putting on this beautiful lace front wigs from everydaywigs.com. It is a dark, dark brunette that almost looks pitch black with some waves in it. I put the part on the side a little bit like how Selena Gomez has in most of her professional shoots, making sure it's dried down with a blow dryer so that glue is definitely dried and holds for the gods. No one's snatching my wig off my scalp. Contouring my chin even more because I realize Selena Gomez's chin looks totally different than mine, so I'm trying to reshape it a little bit. Now this step is totally extra, but my eye color is a lot more green than Selena's is, so I'm putting in some brown contact lenses, making sure I highlight my nose even more. I want to make sure it is on point as much as I can, and I am teasing my wig because Selena has such thick hair and it's always in like these beautiful beachy waves that are kind of messy and look natural, but not too messy if you know what I mean. But with that, we're completely done with our Selena Gomez makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. She has a very youthful face and a lot of dimples, so I hope I contoured to the gods just enough. I'm touching my face and hair a lot because I've noticed Selena Gomez does that a lot in her poses for her magazine covers and photo shoots for her album. Maybe it's her good side. But these past few months, I have been listening to her music nonstop. I do not know why. That's why it really inspired me to do this makeup look for you all. My favorite song by her of all time is called Me in the Rhythm. I really love the song Good For You, Bad Liar, Handsome Myself, Kill Him With Kindness, It Ain't Me. Fetish is also good. I could list a lot more. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Now it is time for me to turn back into myself. All the products I tried on in this video will be of course listed down below in the description box. If you guys do this makeup look or any makeup looks from my YouTube videos, please post it on your Instagram accounts and tag me hashtag catsketch. You can subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos of not only celebrity makeup transformations, but characters from movies and body paintings and all types of looks. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat every day. Thank you guys so much for all your suggestions on future videos. Leave in the comments down below on what you would like to see in the next video. And I will see you guys as somebody else in another video. Maybe I should turn into Justin Bieber next, I don't know. Or a YouTuber, let me know. Love you all, bye.